What's going on folks? It's your boy Hat Free Speaks and we're going to go ahead and jump in today with Queen and this song is called The Night Comes Down. The Night Comes Down. It's an interesting title for a song. I must say so myself, alright? Folks, so if you are new, be sure to bang that subscribe button, notification bell, give the video a like, give it a share because we're going to jump in today with Queen The Night Comes Down. I shall be referring to the book post watching the video but if you are new go check out the queen playlist here I think i'm fast approaching or slowly approaching however you may see it 200 or so reactions to queen all right here on the channel so there is a playlist if you are new go check that out this is a first time listen first time reaction folks which means i've i've not listened to the song beforehand uh, i've not heard the lyrics i.e i've not on researching what the song's about and then i give you the gobbledygook it literally is a blind first time reaction i get to share that with you just like the way you may have heard it right that's just the way i approach it so that's the way the cookie crumbles and if that does tickle your fancy that's why you would subscribe you get what i'm saying so anyway this is queen the night comes down the official lyric video let's jump in without further ado all right Brian May. All right. Ironically, he said, when I was young, this was re this was released in 1973. How old was Brian May then to even comment on when I was young? Listening to it now and you think, oh, yeah, he's in his 70s now when I was young. It's a paradox. It's almost like a time warp. You know what I'm saying? Because he wrote this when he was young. So when he's saying when I was young, he's actually going back to when he was an adolescent, probably a, tea, a wee teenager, a wee ute. But it's ironic because you listen to it now, we know he's like, well, when I was young, what, when, when, what are we talking about? You know, it's a paradox there. You know what I'm saying, folks? And this is not an insult. It's a compliment. If you're new to Queen and you might be thinking, oh, this is, this is, this is not We Are The Champions. This is not Another One Bites The Dust. This is not Bohemian Rhapsody, Hat Free Speaks. These are not the big, big hit songs, the viral songs that everybody knows. What's this about? This has a Pink Floyd and Beatles vibe to it. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. It does. I'm not going to BS you folks. It has that to it. All right. So what does that tell me? That tells me around this era, around this time, 
And perhaps when this music was written, conducted, even where it was recorded, they were, even Queen, were absorbing what was going on in their environment. You know what I'm saying, folks? It's not mimicking a different group. It's what's happening around in the environment. You know what I'm saying? Fundamentally. You know what I'm saying? Fundamentally. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's jump back in. Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, let's, this song is did not does not even sound like a Queen song. Anyway, I am waffling. I'm just so impressed with it. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Yo, 
that was it that was the night comes down i'm what is this song about is it is he talking about um come the coming of age now like, there was a lyric there was a part in that song where brian may said when i when i was um obviously young blah 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 the world was inside me as in coloring it was colorful but now you know it's all great as it comes is it the coming of age perhaps is that what it's about losing that i guess innocence you know what i mean losing that innocence losing how we perceive the world to be as we get older we let others and a group of malicious people with small minds dictate our vibes and how we should feel about things you know what i mean specifically with what happened in the euros and there's been rants and raves about um small-minded folks making comments about the people that took the goal the, the penalty kicks what on earth are you guys thinking what who you know what i mean it was a game it shouldn't boil down to the way someone looks let alone the color of their skin you know what i'm saying anyway i'm going off the point so is that what he's referring to that the world looks gray now because of like these political elements racial issues uh poverty issues uh you know all these little wars and all these little things going on in the world still to this day right the world seems kind of great or was he talking about puberty i don't i'm not 100 percent sure folks but that's brian may for you even back then he goes i'm gonna i've lost my way scared baby scared this was before i want it all kicked in you know what i mean so some of you folks may know what i'm talking about and if you don't the playlist is there all right so we're going to go ahead and get confirmation from what this book's been what this book says all right so let's jump in what guys guess what picture is in this book on this page specifically about this song i did say to you who's that Beatles, baby. The Beatles. All right, so it. I, I did say. I did say. Anyway. Genesis. Identified as Queen's, Queen's first rock ballad, The Night Comes Down is one of the one of the three tracks, along with Keep Yourself Alive and Liar, that convinced Jack Hazelman to distribute the group in America, American territory via his Electra label. In the song, May describes his teenage years. I, okay, so it's his teenage years, which now seem far away, and he pays tribute to his idols, the Beatles. With a wink in the first verse, Lucy was high, and so was I. The reference being an obvious nod to the psychedelic Beatles hit Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds by John Lennon and Paul McCartney in 1967. Now, I don't know why I said Pink Floyd, but again, because of the psychedelic vibe. Um, and they have a song called Shine On You Crazy Diamond. So there's, a, there's some, I'll make a connection there with that one. But Beatles, yeah, I didn't know it was a tribute to them, but it had that vibe to it. I did say, folks, it is surprising to find an allusion to the drugs in a text written by the shy and studious Brian May. But as Mercury frequently explained in interviews, the band shouldn't be required to explain their songs. And sometimes the lyrics were in fact just an assembly of words that sound right when joined together. Right? He has to say that. You know what I mean? Because everyone's very quick to taint a good person. You know what I'm saying? As if to announce the concept of the band's next album, the second verse of the night comes down deals with the duality between black and white and between day and night by extension future songs from the group would deal with the oppositions between good and evil and these contrasting themes would become identifiable in queen's visual universe in the beginning of 1974 especially in the band's costumes and makeup all right so let's go and jump into the production of this drawing his years as a member of another band called 1984 Named in tribute of the famous novel by George Orwell, Brian May became very close with the band's bass player Dave Dilloway, 
At one point, Dillaray gave May an old German Hallfred acoustic guitar from the 1930s, and in exchange, May gave Dillaray a six string Egmont Toledo guitar that he'd originally gotten from his parents for his 17th birthday, and which he got back years later. It was this cheap Halfred acoustic guitar with its powerful but impressive sound named my Dillaway acoustic guitar by May that would later be used on The Night Comes Down. All right, Record, recorded during the D. Lane Lee sessions, the song struck just right balance in terms of the sound Roy Thomas Baker was looking for when mixing the album together. Roger Taylor, who was never satisfied with the drum sound on Queen, appreciated the take more than some of the others. And so 1971 recording was chosen to appear on the album. And that's it, folks. So yeah compliments to the drums on that but yeah definitely definitely had that vibe to it had that kind of well they said it psychedelic vibe you know what i mean so what more could i say other than that so that was it folks that was my reaction to the song the night comes down i have done some songs off the d Lee, uh, from early queen from the 1973 sessions that were recorded even on a reaction to lie so it's all there in the playlist um so go check that out if you haven't already yeah that was it the night comes down interesting 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 to see that this group starting off were giving tributes to people they admired you we find that inspiration from all sorts of places folks but i mean think about it I don't think you find groups nowadays putting tributes on demo tapes. What's that song here? Oh, it's a tribute to uh, XYZ. Really now? Come on. We, you know, A&R person and marketing guy at a record label will be like, come on now. You know what we need? We need hits. We need people. People are not interested in tributes yet. You're not made it. You haven't got a name for yourself. Forget about tributes. Find out what's popping on that dance floor and make a song just like that. All right, folks, that was my reaction. Make sure you are staying safe and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.